right back in the beginning of these slides, there was a, a picture of the Pyrenees with snow all over it. And I said to Raphael earlier that we had, we woke up on Sunday morning and our mountains in Stellenbosch were covered in snow. So he says, oh, well, that's nothing. It snowed here on the weekend too. It's the middle of summer. The, um, the summer finished uh, uh, on last Thursday. Uh, we have the <laughs> 35 degrees and Friday we have 15 degrees with a strong wind. And uh, this morning, um, when I came to the, to the cellar, I saw on the mountain that uh, there was snow on the, on the mountain. So, we, uh, so you're going snow skiing tomorrow? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have to press before that. Okay. <laughs> but wow. then the other thing is that an R in the opposite direction is this beautiful little spot that you see here on your screen called Culio. And I first visited there with Raphael. Ra Raphael is a bit of a foodie, so he's a good guy to visit because he knows where all the best restaurants are. And um, if you go to the next slide, Delia, um, these are the types of foods you get in the area. It's very um, Catalonian, not so much. It's a cross between uh, French and Spanish. And Raphael can give you the French and Spanish names for each of these dishes because if I try and tell you it's going to sound very South African like la paella paella <laughs> la, la paella après um, we have the les anchois de collions anchovy from collions that is a speciality um, with a, a, a typical recipe from there after you have a, a snails uh, la Catalana is uh, made with um, uh, tomato sauce and uh, meat. Uh, uh, and no garlic? Uh, no, not, re not really. It's, it's, more, it's more on the uh, <laughs> oven and uh, cooked with tomato sauce. And uh, you have uh, um, per uh, persil? Yeah, parsley. parsley. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and then the, the first one was the la bouillinade. Uh, okay, la... Didier. <laughs> uh, uh, Rafa, well, those meals actually look quite delicious, but when you took me out for dinner one night, I think Jeff was with me, you, you ordered me a, a tripe sausage, which wasn't the most enjoyable thing. Why don't you order me some of these? <laughs> uh, we, we knew you'd love undo it. No, that was just to end <laughs> off to actually um, highlight the fact that Makabo is, is a really good food wine and it goes fantastically with various um, seafood dishes. Well, snails too. I've had those snails on a barbecue as well, or a braai as we would call it. Um, and yeah, it is, a, it is a beautiful area and that Part of the, the coastal part is, is really nice if you, that's where we do sell quite a bit of our white, our Chardonnay and our Macabre, and our Rosé, of course. <laughs> um, and yeah, uh, for, for, for everyone who might be thinking that they must only support uh, local at the moment, well, that's quite true. And, and South Africans are being very loyal right now because the wine farms are, are hurting a bit. But our French vineyard is what we like to say, not so foreign, because it is owned by South Africans. And you do need to try some French wines every now and again, just to remind yourself. It's a benchmark. It's, the, it's a benchmark that a lot of people use to taste other wines against. And it's been there for a long time. So it's exciting. It's a nice part of the world. And uh, that is really the end that ties it all up. And everyone stayed with us right till the end. Congratulations. Thanks yes. for joining us. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you very much. Cheers. Good night, everybody. Bye-bye.